Melissa Foster. I'm from Jarvis Pediatric Therapy. I'm an occupational therapist. And today I'm going to share a few of my favorite sensory toys, uh, the way to get the most bang for your bunk, buck when uh, providing sensory input for your child. The number one thing that I will um, ask parents to get is a trampoline for their child. It provides a lot of great uh, vestibular and proprioceptive input. They're great because they can be slipped under the bed and used on rainy days and used indoors. And this is the perfect tool for when the kid is fixing to get into trouble, but they're not in trouble yet, or they have ants in their pants and can't get their homework done. This is an excellent tool to say, go get on the trampoline for five minutes and then come back and uh, rejoin your, redo your homework or join the family and that kind of thing. So uh, mini trampoline, they're about $30, Walmart, uh, Sears, uh, Academy Sports, uh, pretty easy to find. Uh, one other one of my favorite tools is the weighted vest. Um, I just simply took it at Walmart, got one, cut the arms off. Uh, you could also get it at Goodwill or something like that. Uh, put pockets inside, made little bean bags full of BB shot. Um, and you want it to be ideally about 5 to 10% of the child's body weight. Another great sensory toy are fidgets. There's a variety of fidgets that I've just picked up at dollar stores, Walmart, um, $1 to $3 a piece. Um, the advantage of the little creatures that are sensory toys are that they can fidget with them and hold them and there's less temptation to throw them across the room. Uh, some of my great, greatest favorite uh, sensory toys for chewers, the kids who chew on their shirts or chew on the tops of pencils, chew on their fingers, are these chew, new chew necklaces. I just found them at pdppro.com. That's pdppro.com. And um, they have a variety of necklaces. And these come on these breakaway cords, so you don't have to worry about a kid getting choked on them. So they have these chew necklaces, and then they also have, at the same website, pdppro.com, these that look like dog tags. So they're very normal looking for kids that may be sensitive toward that. And these are about $15 to $20 a piece. Um, they also have a variety of sensory toys, uh, chew necklaces, at amazon.com. These are another great uh, chew toy at pdppro.com, and these are pencil toppers, and I think they also have these on amazon.com. These were three for seven dollars, so if a kid who tends to chew while they're in school, um, you can just stick one of these on top of the pencil, and that's a great way to solve that. The final thing I want to show is for when a kid is sitting in the classroom. This is some simple TheraBand. Uh, you get a whole bunch of it for about ten dollars at Walmart, Academy Sports, that kind of thing. And you just slip it on the chair legs like that, and then when a kid is sitting in class and listening to a teacher, I've also had a lot of kids use this with standardized tests, benchmark testing, they can sit there and kick, you know, the kids that have the fidgety legs can sit there and kick against this resistance and um, kind of get their wiggles out while they're still sitting there and working on their math homework, etc. So again, my name is Melissa Foster. I work at Jarvis Pediatric Therapy as an occupational therapist. And you can find more information on sensory processing disorders and different tricks and tips at JarvisTherapy.com.